What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day. 2020 Bowman Baseball Jumbo, a box full case picker team number one just sold out. And again, uh, $200 break credit giveaway if you buy two plus teams. So again, how to get entered to win? All you have to do is buy two teams in this break. You buy two teams, you get one entry. You buy four teams, you get two entries. The more uh, spots and multiples of two you buy, the more examples, the more chances you have to win. And then, of course, top four names will win $50 in break credit each. So instead of giving away $200 just to number one, we're going to give away four break credit codes. Um, um, you know, instead of... Uh, that are just the one code. So four people are going to win $50 in break credit. Top four names. You can see part of my screen where my video is. What is that? What are you looking at, Rex? What am I showing that I'm not supposed to be showing? <laughs> All right, so there you go. So we'll do that later, guys, at the end of the break to see who is part of that randomizer. And there you go. Oh, you can see our mouse. Yeah, for some reason, when we updated our our video streaming service, it like didn't give us the option to hide it. But yeah, you guys can see. So it actually benefits us because you know why? When me and Joe or Nick are going through orders and we're just looking at the screen and you guys can see the mouse move back and forth, at least it looks like we are doing something as we are, not like we're just sitting here looking at a screen. Good luck, everybody. a little later today decons i think we're just trying to make sure that our shipping is here today before we post any um but probably later today i assume i'd say in like by like noon maybe maybe by noon the, the latest earliest um i think we're just trying to make sure that it gets here first before we post it But yeah, we should have blasters, fast breaking, and things cellos on there. Including, of course, Bowman Personals and Select. Obviously, with, with UPS right now, we just can't guarantee it's going to get here, even though it says it's out for delivery.
No problem, man. Alright, good luck, guys. First two jumbo boxes. And for the Braves, Bowman's first atomic to 100, Bryce Ball. Gunnar Henderson to uh, 299. Anthony Velope. Bowman's first for the Yankees. Hopefully more for Megan and Bruce. Maybe some Jason. Uh, whenever it sells out, Luke, if you look on the website, select is not sold out, man. We're down to six left in PYT number one and 17 in number two. So here's the break schedule as of now. If a break is sold out on the website and it hasn't been on there, it's just because we haven't went through orders. So follow the website and stock your break to see when it's sold out. Yeah, I don't know, Teddy. Sorry, I just seen your question. But Josh is saying that most breakers had him around 250. Alec Thomas to 50. Top 100 autograph uh, for the D backs. Going to Eric. But of course, you know, there's a lot of draft prospect buzz for the. Uh, for the Red Sox too, so. Gavin Lux. Valmont. Dominguez paper, first one, hopefully a lot more.
Damon Jones, paper gold first for the Phillies. Jason Dominguez. All right, next box, guys. That's cool, Teddy. Tell him to send you an autograph. <laughs> You're like, hey man. I need one of your autos. And there you go, there's our first Pausan. Oakland Athletics going to Matthew. Delgado to 299 for the White Sox. Josh Proust. There you go, man. And we got to 75, Christian Javier. Manuel Vargas for the Dodgers. Little and Luis Gill Gill two fifty for the Yankees. I wonder if that's Carl. Oh, oh, Josh Bruce says it's not. That'd be cool, though, right? This is actually a pretty interesting autograph right there, how he just signs Vargas. 
pretty cool actually. Alright, next one, guys. Alright guys, next two boxes. Uh, Cannon Smith to 1st here for the Minnesota Twins. Brad with that one. Cooper Johnson for Detroit. Brendan Matthew. Hey, what up, Mike? How's it going, man? Um, 
I think the Rangers have pretty good prospect autographs on the Atomic to 150. Pete Alonso. Um, so Rangers, I know some people were also saying uh, Rays have the most prospects. Um, I think the Red Sox are pretty pretty loaded too with that Duran. Um, what else can we look at? I mean, you still got, you know, rookie stuff like Dodgers. That can be pretty good with prospects and a mixture of the rook uh, rookie autographs with Lux and May. But definitely Rangers and Red Sox, I think. White Sox, I was, yeah, White Sox too. Well, yeah, White Sox, of course, have Robert rookies. And Gerard, Incarnacion to 250. That's right, Padres. I, I forget that guy's name that Joe Pizzo was talking about. He's a pretty... Pretty strong pitcher. It's going to be a starter in the rotation. Yeah, it's actually pretty spread out, to be honest. Yeah, I think there's like a... I mean, obviously the Yankees are pretty much on their own, and then it's like... Then it's like... Uh, then it's like, of course, the, the, the Royals, but then there's a lot of other teams that are like kind of in the same... Same like two hundred dollar price range in the Pobby Jumbo or whatever you know, where they're pretty solid. Chance, yes, I pulled it for you, buddy. What's up? I do the Instagram on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. Nice, Mike. I probably will only get to like Pikachu number three, but I'm sure Nick and Joe will pull you fire later tonight. Remember, we're going for 24 hours, guys. <laughs> so, we're going to be here for a while. Who do I know that's in Idaho? I don't know. Jorge Mateo. Ooh, Trevor saying Queen Cotton's over 14K. Yeah, the centering looked good to me. I don't know if in the photo it showed a little bit off, but yeah, I said that it could probably go like 9 5, maybe 10 in, in BGS, but. I mean, obviously, that just depends on the grader. But for PSA, it should be a 10. That's what I meant to say, Chance. I wasn't trying to, like, you know, hype you up on purpose. But, I mean, it was one of the better Zion centerings that I've seen pulled in a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, I think if you PSA, it should be a 10. I've seen really bad PSA 10s. But then again, how people said, like, it just depends on the grader you get. The, the grader can grade it like a 9, which is horrible. I've seen some tens that are so off centered, and then they're graded a, a, a ten. But obviously, BGS is the tougher grade. But obviously, BGS is a much tougher grade, so it's more risky. But to me, it looked pretty solid. I guess it just looks. I guess you just have to see it by the angle, chance. Maybe in that photo that I took, it kind of shows a little off centered, but you know, when I seen it in person, it looked pretty good. So it just really, really depends on the grader, to be honest. And then, of course, factoring in besides the centering is the, the corners and, and you know, obviously the... Ooh, this is another Duran, just a Yankee, though. The, the surface and everything. So there's always a lot of other factors in BGS, too. And same thing in PSA, but... Yeah, I mean, it's a, I mean, I guess it is a little off-centered, but again, <laughs> that could probably be a PSA 10. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I've seen some really bad 10 centered, so it, if you don't want to risk it for BGS, then send it into PSA. But you can obviously see it for yourself once you get it. But people are always going to judge, you know that, man. Yeah, it just depends on the grader you get to. 
Tony DeBrow. Mets. I mean, we have some Zions here that I'll show you later if you want to see them. If I have time to show them to you, there was some PSA tens that. How could you even see that? How can you even say that's a ten? I mean, maybe everything else is a ten, the corners and everything, but how could you say that that centering is a ten compared to another Zion that we may have that came out of nine and it's like so close? It just really depends on the grader, and people always comment that on on posts. It's like, man, you must have had a grader that didn't really want to grade your cards right. So, it is what it is. It sells pretty well to raw anyways, Chance. So I think you'll still do pretty well on it, man. If you don't want to get it graded. I'll be with it. Yeah, I mean, there's always a lot of controversy with PSA. Um, obviously, the 10s sell well when it's a 10. But, um, you know, obviously, BGS is such a tougher grade. If you can get, you know, a 10 pristine, they're not black label, but just a 10 pristine, I mean, you're pretty much just making so much more than a PSA 10, right? But I think PSA 10s sell for more than a 9.5. So it's like... You have to really think about if it's really if you think it's really at least a ten in PSA, will it be at least a nine five in Beckett? Because they may grade much tougher and maybe it's a nine, you know. And then again, you could have just PSA it. Although not that like you can't out crack the slab and send it to PSA, but really have to really have to like get a good knowledge of like thinking. Okay, I think this is gonna grade no later, no lower than this, you know. Dominguez scouts. So, I think it just really depends on that. And of course, like everybody says, it depends on the grader. I mean, Sean's a perfect example, right? Remember when I pulled you that Zion? Doesn't it look like it can be like a 10? But then you never know, it might be like a 9 or a 9.5. Uh, we do not have a purple disco chance. We only, we, the only Zions we have here are just like base PSA 10s and stuff. We don't have any colors. Yeah, charismatic it's right here man it's on the google doc spreadsheet that everybody can access yeah, i think i left them over there all right guys we're halfway through Exactly, right, Sean? There you go. It's a, PSA, <laughs> it's a PSA 10 BGS, right? I mean, for a PSA 10 for sure, but BGS is the big question. And like I said, I'm, I'm kind of like you, right? I would want to double make sure that if I can get at least a 9.5, I'm going to send it there. Or if I can get a 10, then I'm going to send it there for sure. Because that'll definitely increase the value. But that's always the big question. See, like, here's the photo that I took, too, as well. To me, if you look at that, 
does that center look pretty well to you? Right? Oh, no, we, I don't. But see, like, doesn't this look pretty good? Like, this is a photo that I took of your car. Now, here's another photo that I took. And then you kind of start seeing it differently. Maybe my lighting when I was braking looked much more better. But then you kind of see a little bit, right? It's a little smaller here on this side. But over here, it's a little bit bigger, right? But if you look at this video, you're, I mean, you look at this photo, you're just like, wow, that looks pretty damn good, right? But it's a little off. But then, you know, what it really exposes it is I didn't notice is the back of it then you can kind of see how it's a little off. But again, I've seen some worse Zions that will grade a 10 in PSA all day, right? It all just depends though on the grader that you're gonna get. It's a little off, but it's not super crazy off. And if you look at this one, it looks pretty damn good. So, I mean, I guess it just depends, depends on, the, on the photo that you like, you know, take of it. <laughs> it might expose it more in different angles. So it all just really depends. All right, next two. Jason, where you at? <sighs> no, Dennis, just a lot of paper and chrome, which is still not bad, but no autos yet. Although, to be honest, so far through this box, or through this case, I haven't seen much, as much chrome and paper as the first two, so maybe that's a sign that there will be an autograph. I don't know. Because like I've seen a lot of paper and chrome in the last two cases we've done. Um, 
I think I've hit Braves, but I'll do a little hit recap at the end. And wow, look at that. That's very nice, right? 35 out of 250, Robert Pausan. Bowman's first purple. Very nice. Matthew Gomes. How about that, man? Yeah, that's a big one right there. I think we hit his base earlier today, so there you go. You get a color as well. That should be at least what one, maybe one auto. Yeah, like one auto. Wow, we got a Aquino five out of 30. A little sticker autograph, but it's still a rookie and it's still an auto for the Reds going to Jonathan. That's right, JMS. We got some in yesterday. The majority of our stuff, though, should be here today. Josh Jones. Garcia. Oh, did I miss a Dominguez there? Thanks, up, Mike. Bruce. <laughs> so my first one I flew by. At least today. But I got you guys there, so don't worry about it. I can count on you guys. Paper purple roll bear. That's a Dominguez little chrome. Dominican Republic. I still think Jace, uh, JMS, it doesn't matter uh, because if this guy turns out to be what people think he will be, you just hold on to these and they'll be worth a lot more in a couple years. Because not all of them are going to grade 10s.
Ooh-wah. Detroit. I mean, I guess we'll see about that, JMS. I guarantee you, if this guy turns out to be what he's, the people want him to be and what they say, if they made over 200,000 of them, there'll be more than 200,000 people wanting at least a paper in a few years. I can guarantee you now there's thousands and thousands of people that want him already. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but at the same time, man, I can't really compare old school to, to all this now. There was no social media, no nothing to advertise all that the way it is now. So some older stuff is going to sell much better if it's more rare. I think that's just kind of common sense, right? Estevez. There wasn't no eBay back in the day. There wasn't Facebook group forums. There wasn't selling on Instagram and everywhere. So if you know numbers, JMS, tell me how many Mike Trout papers and base stuff was made for when he was at Bowman's first. Same thing with like Wander and same thing with with every big prospect. Yeah, but you know, I mean, there's going to be people that are, aren't going to want the base because we they print it too much, right? But there's going to be people that don't even care. <laughs> it's a PSA 10, and they're going to pay what they pay for it sells for. So at the end of the day, someone is not dumb, you know, for wanting to pay X amount for a paper base. At the end of the day, whatever you want to pay for, whatever you want is what you pay for, right? So, I mean, just like we always say, you can sell any car for whatever you want. And if someone's willing to pay for it, they will. All right, guys, last two boxes.
I also think at the end of the day, Bowman is always king. You know, there's other products that they only make 20 versions or 25 versions of everything and it doesn't sell for as well. So, I think for Jason Dominguez, if he turns out to be who he is, he's a Yankee. And that's what's going to solely help his, his resale value. And as well if he does well. So, now if he was like a, I don't know, name me a smaller market team, then that's a little different. So, with Jason Dominguez this year, him being on the Yankees is just icing. <laughs> it's like, just imagine that all these other big prospects were actually Yankees. It's just, it's, and it's just, it's mind blowing to me how being in a Yankees uniform just makes so much more. It's like LeBron being in a Lakers uniform right now. Anything Laker LeBron is just going for ridiculous. You know, it's, there's just a big fan base for LeBron and just an even bigger fan base for Lakers, just how there is the Yankees. So, but again, we don't know. This all might crash one day. But someone will still want a paper PSA 10 in their collection. Definitely. But these people that are spending all this money are kind of thinking it's going to turn out to be Trout, <laughs> right? Like, it's what the, the Trout that just sold in the auction two days ago sold for almost a million dollars. And whoever bought that for almost a million dollars, yeah, that autograph in a year or two, he's going to make profit on that. You know? I don't know if you guys seen, but... I guess Nick picked up a nice trout. Same thing, you know, just not number. I think just for factor of base, right? I mean, <laughs> of trout, it's only gonna go up in two years a year. So it's it's just until they prove themselves for sure. But customers are willing to take that risk for an unproven player because just to know if he sells for as much as he does now, what is he gonna sell for if it becomes a trout? <laughs> you know, it's just like that's your hope. And that's everybody's hope. You know, there's customers out there to make money. There's customers out there to collect. Yeah, Sean, imagine if Rui was drafted by the Lakers. Yeah, even more. So, it, yeah, it's just... This year would just match so perfectly. With Dominguez being a Yankee, that's all. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah, if, if Trout was a Yankee, it, it would have been over. What if Zion was a Laker? How about that? Just think of that. How much more value was he going to get? I mean, hell, he could have been a Nick, and I think he would have had more value because he's playing for a big market city. You know, but it is what it is. <laughs> What up, Richard? I know, right? Yeah, exactly. Mike, Nick, and Matt. <sighs> Jesus. It's crazy. I'm lucky to have a silver and a base Zion from Prism. And I'm just going to... I got very lucky and I bought a box. And I got it when it wasn't so expensive as it is now. So I'm going to hold on to it. I'm probably going to get it graded. And I'll just, it's something I'm going to hold on to for a very long time. And if I lose this value, I'm okay with it because... I don't think I paid that much for it. Lozardo to 100 Atomic Rookie. What up, Jeremy? No, there's no Miles Sanders in here yet, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> but no Dominguez Auto yet. A's going to Matthew. Nice break for the A's, though, to be honest. Yeah, and just, I don't have any Lucas stuff, but it's too expensive for me now. I'm more obviously Miles Sanders, but I was fortunate enough to get a Zion Silver and a base, so I'm okay with that. 
so I don't really rip too much anyway, so. I know, and that's what kind of scares me. He can be like Griffin, for sure. But I don't think Griffin was selling for as much as... Well, I don't know. Back in 2009, I mean, I wasn't really in the card market as much. It wasn't until I got into it with Gary, like, right after high school, 2010, 2011, so... I don't know. Gonzalez. But, yeah, I mean, he was selling for pretty well, too, right? We just have the Hope Zion's knees hold up. <laughs> And that's that Griffin, uh, Blake Griffin also, like, missed the whole year, right? When he got injured? Yeah. He was a rookie his second year. I don't know, man. 280 pound, 280 whatever pound people shouldn't be flying in the air like that. <laughs> you know, it's just like how people say it. I think it was like in a Jackie Moon with, um, in, 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 uh, whoa, what is this? Out of 50, Yamamoto, rookie of the year favorites, gold. In a semi pro, people aren't just supposed to be flying in the air like that, Jackie. That's pretty much what we're saying about Zion. People shouldn't be doing that at that height and weight. <laughs> Debbie Garcia. Yeah, and that's the one thing about this whole, like, COVID, is that our last image of Zion is just literally just destroying the NBA you know he was just dominating and that's our last image of him right now so it's just even more hype more hype more hype oh man if the NBA season comes back they might be able to make the playoffs you know and yeah if he, they make the playoffs and does some noise for shizzle See no red or nothing yet. <laughs> I know he's 17 years, and he's been in. He's been signing for like two years already. So he's been signing since he was like 16. He was like in the Elite Extra Edition stuff and Leaf Metal stuff. It's 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 ridiculous, man. It's crazy. I wonder how much he gets paid, honestly. Well, this is definitely gonna be the best Dominguez card you're gonna get. I mean, a rookie card is gonna sell well, but. You're never, I mean, it's never going to go for what a bum's first goes for. So this is definitely the peak of him right now. It's just getting these autos. <sighs> Alright guys, last box here. Good luck. One, all this Dominguez talk, man. We gotta get an autograph of this kid. We gotta get at least one, please, just one. If they put him in there, maybe Sean, but. I feel like Transcendent does so well when it first comes out, but it really does die down. It really does. 
But I think if they were to put prospects, like firsts, then that's a game changer. But I think a lot of people know it too, like, you know, it's just, it, it just really dies. Unless you have the right player and obviously getting the right cut and, and stuff like that. Which definitely you got to sell quick. I don't know, is there? Are you saying if there is some in this product or just in this box in general? Nice break for the A's. Allen. Yeah, I would too, Eddie. I would definitely take the first better. I actually like this. What's up, Ted? I like this Vargas autograph, to be honest. It's pretty cool. Dodgers. Win a Kenneth. I hope we pull a Super Fractor. I mean, it'd be nice in this box, but. Don't need you. We got a gold of Valera to fifty. Last stack right here. Wow, we got a Bobby Witt Jr. And that is 132 out of 299. Very nice for the Kansas City Royals. Going to Mark. Wow, this is a great case on, on, with no Jason Dominguez. Very, very nice. Oh man, if Super Fraggers are 1 in 8, we'd have a lot of them. They're probably like 1 in every 8,000. <laughs> Honestly. Are they really 1 in every 300 bucks? I mean, that's still a lot of cases, right? Let's say 12 box case of hobby. That's like. It's like 30 cases. Right? Probably around there. Yeah, 25 if you do the right math, yeah. Give or take five cases. Little Dominguez here as well. And a paper of Luciano. Seventy-five. I know it's true, Sean, but obviously that's just the average. We don't really know. It could be in more than 25 cases. It could, be, it could take 40 if we get the right, if we get the wrong cases, right? <laughs> Who knows? All 
Alrighty, guys, and there you go. Pretty solid case in this one for sure. Alright, so again, a little recap. Here's all the paper, color, chrome of Dominguez and Witt, and then numbered cards, of course, for a lot of other teams. Which, of course, the Dominguez's will add up, which is a good thing, but we gotta get an autograph for you, Megan and Bruce. And now let's go through the hits. Yeah, thank you, Josh. All right, so here you go. Pereira. Valmont, Dibrell, Mitchell, oh, that's just the Aqua. I don't know why that was in there. Duran to 250, Bones first. Encarnacion to 150. Johnson, Valmont again. Vargas, Delgado, Hosan, uh, Alec Thomas to 50. Anthony Velope, Ball, Atomic. Hosan to 250, Purple. Aquino to 30. Lazardo, Atomic. Yamamoto to 50. Vargas to 150, Bobby Wood Jr. to 299, Estevez, Gonzalez, this just is a color, Estevez, Diaz, and Scooball. So there you go, guys. That was the break. Uh, Pikachu number one in the books. Coming up next, Pikachu number two. Appreciate it.